This is kind of like a glimpse of what the pandemic costs. These are real phones. Oh yeah, they are real. Wow. This is insane. Look. They got Christmas decorations. Damn, this is kind of risky. This is a palace. I'll try to get you out, man. I'll try to get you out. That movie theater is active. I forgot to tell you guys. <laughs> What's going on, Ronan fam? So, really quick announcement here. I'm going to be hosting a fan meetup with two of my friends, Exploring with Fires and Exploring with Josh, at ScreenFest in the UK on October 14th. You can find out the information right here on this poster that I'm posting up. Party! Party! Speaking of which, they're here right Hello. now. Party. Yo, come take a seat, guys. Take a seat, take a seat. I don't know the exact area. Where is it again? Burton on Trent, which is super central in the UK. Every motorway can pretty much access it. Train goes direct Smack to down it. in the middle. Hotel right next to the train station. That's right. Perfect location. Should be no excuse for anyone in the UK to come because it's right smack down in the middle. So guys, I would love to see all of you. So come through. We got food. We got entertainment. This is going to be really, really fun meeting you all. So yeah, link down in the description to get your ticket. But yeah, we will say this. What's up? There's only 30 tickets left available. That's right. 30 oh, left get out of 200. Fast. Get them fast, guys. This is going to be huge. And you guys will be able to just have fun with us and come hang. We're all vlogging it. All of you guys will be in our vlog. So I'll see you all there. I completely forgot to mention that I'm in the UK with Josh and Dan and we're gonna be doing a road trip for about two weeks here hitting some of the best places in the UK so we're starting off a new series on the channel UK series I don't even know how many times I've been here I think this is like the fourth series of the UK so stay tuned for more videos what is going on today bro and fam hope you guys have had a fantastic week if you're new around here my name is Steve Rome going epic adventures and today we're exploring this crazy abandoned mall two floors it's pretty big I'm not gonna lie. What's crazy though is like I've been in this mall when it was active, but it's closed down due to COVID. It was a mall that was just never making sales. Originally it was a dead mall. Plus when COVID hit, it just ultimately killed it. So yeah, I can't believe we're here right now. This is like a childhood mall of mine. So you have no idea this place holds a special memory in my heart. It's just gonna be taking me back through memory lane. And if you can hear some noise in the background, there's actually only one store here that's open and it's an arcade. And that's currently it. Every store here is closed as you will see as the adventure moves on. That's just a brief summary that I know right now, but as this video progresses, I'll go further into the history of the place. Enough talk, I'm excited. Before the adventure begins, smash that thumbs up button. This abandoned mall is known to be Silver City Galleria and opened in 1922. When the mall first opened, it was seemingly situated in the middle of nowhere. However, its strategic location at the intersection drew traffic from towns and cities in all directions, including Boston and Providence. It quickly became a popular shopping destination in the state of Massachusetts. In 2002, Silver City Galleria was purchased in a joint venture in a $634 million deal that involved three other malls. Sadly, in its recent years, the only thing to remain open was Regal Cinemas, Dick's Sporting Goods, and Round One. Regal Cinemas shut down in 2020 as part of a temporary closure of all Regal theaters due to COVID-19. On December 11, 2020, it was announced Round One Entertainment would be closing in January 2021. Dick's Sporting Goods closed in early January 2021, and on January 21, 2021, it was announced that Silva Galleria would be demolished in February with one investor saying it was too expensive to keep open and demolition work began the following month. It was then officially demolished on May 9th, 2021. We just made it inside to this abandoned mall. Pretty crazy. It's been a while since I've done an abandoned mall. I'm here with Radix Law Jaster Films. Look, we got Christmas decorations. These escalators are not working. 
What's up? They have the cell phones. They still have the cell phones. Are you phones serious? Left on the display. No, these have to be fake. No, they're real. They're actually real. Are you serious? Yeah, they're just not on. They're just, or maybe they are. Feel them? These are real phones. Oh, yeah, they are real. Wow. This is insane. Look at this. What is this? That's crazy. I have never. One yeah, these are real. Oh, two of them are missing. Look so I'm probably going one. They got a Samsung Galaxy S10 here. Pull them out. Oh, okay, so so these are real. They're literally attached, so people don't take them. Right. This one was taken off. See how they had like the oh, this is sticky. So like they're on some kind of sticky material. Uh huh. That's crazy though. For real. Dude. You what? think this would like alarm still? No. Well, maybe people pull. I don't think there's like yeah, power it here. Sound the alarm for sure, or something. Yeah, that is crazy though. We found some keys. Employees only. What were they doing back here? Kind of looks like another store. Oh, wow. Looks like some paint spilled out from the bucket. Bro, we have to check out the food court across from us. Now, honestly, this is probably my favorite part of malls, the food court. I remember I would always come here and get stuck in Japan. So sad that they're closed. One of my favorite mall restaurants, Fuji Chen, it's long gone. This is too sad to see. This is kind of like a glimpse of what the pandemic costs. Malls to shut down. I mean, it was already doing poorly because of online shopping. Now, no one can like really go to malls. A lot of them have closed down. Let me know down in the comments if there's been a mall in your area that's had a similar fate to this place. We got the play area. Not your biggest play area. What even is this thing? It looks like someone toppled it down. Bro, you know what I miss the most? Cali weather, Braddock. What? I miss Cali weather. Cal. California weather. You, you said you hated it. That's not true. Where is this coming from? It was actually nice and warm in California and not hot. I hate the heat. Found a fireplace so I warm up. What about you, Ryan? Have you been freezing cold here lately? Yeah. Yeah? I turn the heat up all the time. I bet you don't have a nice fireplace like this. Oh, man. Uh, I mean, if we go to Kyle's place, to oh. his new mansion, with Yo. this giant fireplace, we could always just, you know, Dude. sit down, have a drink, and... Or Thanks for reminding me. We have to go see Kyle. Kyle ended up buying a mansion, and we have to go and see it. Yeah, he he's renovating an abandoned it, mansion. Yeah. That's something I want to do, too. Oh, there's another fireplace right here on the opposite side. It looks like they could have had like a big screen TV right there. It's pretty crazy to see. I mean, they had good stores in this mall. It wasn't a crappy mall at all. They even had Dick's Sporting Goods over here at one point. Yeah, so I'm gonna work my way from the top to bottom. That's usually how I do it. Something loud is like playing over there. Unless it's like below us. It might be the uh, the store below us. That's the only one that's open. What was this at one point? <laughs> Has a picture of like a, an abandoned building. Ironic, isn't it? And I think this used to be like T-Mobile. I can tell by like this pink billboard. Yeah, I'm right. T-Mobile. I wonder if they have like their phones left in here too. But nah, it looks like they uh, took everything. Really empty. I really want to find the stores that actually have some stuff inside it. But I hope this video is still entertaining to you guys. And I'm just here to document it.
Yo guys, join here with here it's going with Josh. Out here? Of course. Um, we're having like a the good old time. days. We it's, it's are like having, the old days. Yeah, yeah. We this are having great. a good time, man. This is awesome. This is pretty crazy. Awesome. Yeah. Dude, I'm it gets bigger. It. Like once you walk over there, it's it just goes, like just goes miles oh, down. Yeah, I'm just far. like, what? Yeah, yeah I thought this was just it right here, but nah, this place is huge, bro. We're gonna be here all day. Yeah. So yeah, reunited uh, with exploring with Josh, the homie, of course. You know, we live roughly around the same area, so we explore together here and there. Dang, this is so sick. Radish is downing a Red Bull. I'm surprised that's not alcohol, Radic. What? I'm surprised that's not alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> or is it? There's some leakage going on. Someone put this bucket right here. I'm hearing water drops. I'm like, where's that? And it's coming through here. Dude, look at this. Yeah, look at this. The whole freaking... Oh, what the heck? Oh, These are the hoverboards. I was telling you. Yo, about. what? They're working? Yeah, they all work. <gasps> what? Yo, I gotta try this. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm that it's a hoverboard. It's, it's broken? broken? No, the only yeah. one side works. Right oh, right. man. There's, there's a lot of them here, though. Oh my gosh. Thank you for Dude, we can all... I'm not one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm riding around the mall on hoverboards. I'm gonna just explore the mall. What? This one fully works. Oh my gosh. Okay. Open the doors to head. That movie theater is active. I forgot to tell you guys that. that that's its the active real? movie theater. The real thing? People still go get movie tickets and stuff. It's closed right now. Yeah, but it's gonna open up probably tonight. It's Sunday. It's still gonna open, so just be careful. Where's the door? We're excited to forward, you got it? Can you move? Oh my god. No way. I'll take that. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm gonna film this quicker than you, Josh. Peace out. No, it'll stay still once you jump on it. Now put it. Put your, put your other foot. Come on, Josh, use the force. I did with my bag. You got it, you got it. Yeah, there you go, bro. Yes. Oh my god, this is kind of sick. Right? <laughs> How do you turn it? So we just put it back. But this room is like probably the funnest room I've been to so far. It kind of creep with the mannequins and like, that kind of looks like blood. Look, there's more hoverboards right there. Yeah. Someone's at Regal Cinema right now. Huh? I'm at the Regal Cinema. So Josh kind of dipped. Josh just left us. He, he, he ran. Yeah. That's what he wants. But we never got caught. Uh, that was me. No. Yeah. <laughs> so we're good. We're on the bottom floor now, though. We've pretty much seen most of the stuff from the top. So I might as well just explore down here now. I think this is like the center of the mall. This is a weird door. <laughs> oh, Arax is in there already. What the heck is this? It's just a broken down door. And the shop is actually here, so I think this is like a staff entrance. Oh. I think we're in like Abercrombie and Fitch. Yeah, this was definitely like Abercrombie and Fitch. I don't feel like walking through there. Oh, there's the main entrance. This layout looks so familiar. Now it's just like a shell of its former self.
It's crazy. I can still smell like the perfume scent in here from when this place used to be open. But yeah, let's head out. So far, I'm walking through empty stores. I'm kind of worried about all the way down there, like all the lights are on. What's weird is I actually came here about like two months ago after exploring another band mall that was much smaller than this one. By the way, in case you guys are wondering how I found this place, I found this by exploring another abandoned mall that's like 30 minutes away from this one. And the, that mall was pretty small, so I was like, okay, is there any other like abandoned or dead malls in the area? And I found this one, but at the time I didn't know how to get inside. But now people have found a way to like explore this place. And yeah, that's how I'm here. The other mall was pretty cool, but small. Here's the clip. I love exploring abandoned malls. And before you know it, malls will be non-existent in the near future. So I want to try to capture as much as I can. I haven't really found the food court yet. This was actually a place in Italy. Definitely feels apocalyptic. This was a palace. This is a very small mall. No way. This might have been left behind. Sheets, like bed sheets. So the boots are set up like this. and everything when they come here Dude, and explore. Tree. Yeah, the tree. All right, I'll try to get you out, man. I'll try to get you out. Just stand still. Just don't move. So yeah, pretty neat. But this mall is definitely way better and bigger and less decayed or destroyed. There's a man putting the furniture into boxes and, and like moving it around right now. Oh my gosh. And somehow when he was putting down the box, that's when I saw him. Do I can hear him? Yeah, I know. Do you think he can see us if we start walking down this way? in the corner. That's why I didn't see him. Okay, let's go. Yo, I can hear the guy whistling right now. <laughs> so I'm just gonna check if there's anyone over there. Because Josh said he might have spotted someone. But it could just be our minds playing tricks on us. We just want to make sure it's like not a homeless person or, you know, someone with malicious intent. What is the verdict? The cinema is open, the gate's open, okay. which means there's maybe a worker at the, at the, um, at the counter. Right. I'm so paranoid now. It goes, no, I think we're good. Um, nobody really seems to care right here so far. Okay. Especially since that person can see us. And, you know, by now they would have probably called someone to come down and get us. I wonder if there's any, like, stores to see. Up there. Upstairs. There's definitely some, but not Alright, maybe let's take a look then. I want to take a shot of this guy from this corner. It's just the wind. Check this out. I found a map. It tells you, like, look at all the stores that were here. Decent sized mall. So we found a camera. But we think it's broken. It's just spinning around in circles. Unless it's like someone controlling it and looking around. What I is that? So. I don't know. I think... I think it's broken. I really do. Or... I mean, because if they saw you, when it turned to you, it would have stayed on you. Okay, it that's be. true. Which I was, I was actually checking. I went under it for a while. I was gonna wait to see if you triggered it. What was that? That's Josh. That's Josh? He's coming, yeah. How do you know it was him? He's coming. Why do you need to make a bang noise? He's clumsy from the concert here.
Talk to the kid. So we just reunited with Josh. We don't know who is down there. Apparently it's a guy moving boxes. It could be a worker. It could be a guy like taking stuff to his truck and just stealing <laughs> <laughs> Could be Christmas shopping right now. <laughs> You're crazy. Yeah. But you saw how we came in the mall. The door literally opens up. What's this open like when beginning of this year? Like why would it have social distancing right now? Well, it closed in February 29. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Technically, oh, no, no, no. So, okay, so they were doing auctions here. Oh, they're doing auctions. They were doing auctions to sell the place. Oh. They were auctioning it in October to try to sell this place. Just the entire mall they were trying to auction? They're trying, they're trying to push it, trying to sell it. Get it out. You yeah. know what happens to the dead malls. They don't come back, bro. Hopefully, I, I would yeah, love to right. see this one back to life. Dude, I don't think malls will exist in like 20 years from now, you know? And that's the thing, bro, because- Everyone's like, shopping online and I, stuff. I know, I feel like I would love- to, I like to come to the mall to just grab a shirt and get some ice cream or something. Right. With like the homies, you know? <laughs> yeah. Or the or date, whatever. That's it. And go to the movies. Yeah. That's, that's it, man. Yeah, I know. Dude, that, that, that's going to be malls in the future. Just some ice- just an ice cream <laughs> shop and just like illegal cinemas. And that's <laughs> it. <laughs> So when this mall was open, there were six restaurants. This is one of them. This could be a, a Vertucci's. So this is the logo or the symbol of the mall. Pretty neat, but uh, yeah, when you look outside, you can see all the decay and just, we see these weird cars just doing random stuff. Parking around places. They're just doing parking stuff. They're just parking. They're doing circles. <laughs> it's like people learning how to drive out here now. It's just so empty. I mean, you can see like the donut marks out there. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so everything that's open is the Regal Cinema. We saw one girl working here. It must be really creepy for her to just work here, especially when it becomes nighttime. Like I'm already getting creeped out just looking at this. You're right there. He's right there watching me. He's looking right at me as I was filming him. So seriously, he just sees me peek through the corner. He just doesn't care. Well, we're just about done here. Just want to go check these Christmas trees out. These were probably here from like last December. I don't think this is this year's Christmas. You should check if there's still presents underneath one of the trees. Oh trust me, I was. But there's no there's no presents. There is a uh like a <laughs> dead teddy bear. Yeah, a dead teddy bear. Literally. Like his head is like chopped off. He's wearing a Santa hat. Rest in peace, my friend. So we just got done exploring. I'm kind of thirsty, so we're gonna go check out the Regal Cinema and get a drink. I'm kind of scared of this elevator. No, I'm not gonna lie. We can trust it. We can trust it. <laughs> Regal baby. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, if anything goes wrong, we just call someone to help us. I don't know. I think we'll be fine. I mean, this doesn't look like the best elevator. No, it definitely runs It's down. only one floor down, though. Someone uh, sprayed a fire extinguisher in Bro, I'm scared. I am legit scared. That sounds really bad. I don't even feel like it's going up. Me neither. Yo. Oh my gosh. Dude. What if it just dropped? Yo, chill. <laughs> don't oh move. God. Okay, okay. This Holy sh**. It's not even opening. I know. <laughs> this is a bad idea. Holy sh**. This is not funny. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> what do you know the scariest Yo, elevator I've ever that been? That so scary. Oh. So scary. I'm so glad we made oh it Oh my out. god, it's so scary. That was the scariest elevator Dude, ever. Never again. I will never use the elevator again. It did. It felt like it was not working. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna get like, slushy. Do you have then. the drinks in there? We don't have slushies, no. Oh, okay. Oh. What, 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 other, what drinks do you got? We just have bottle of soda. Uh, Maybe. I don't know. Let me just, I haven't had a soda in a long time. This is like the... 
the creepiest regal cinema I've ever been in. Okay. <laughs> I was just looking, I was like, this, this is weird. Are there any customers here today? Yeah. Oh, there is, okay. All right, have a good day, thank you. Yeah. Uh, can I get them out of you as well? Yes, you can. Are you trying to beat the system because you need to refer? Free for me. See? Yeah. She's, she's hooking us up with free Mountain Dew, and that's because the credit card machines are broken. I can't believe it's free. That's good. You sure? Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> I can't believe this. This is awesome. This doesn't make any sense. This is great though. You know, I'm getting kind of hungry too now. The popcorn, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, well, so. Guys, we're, we're just living life. Yeah, for real. She's closing it. It's like she's closing it so that she doesn't, the zombies don't come. She's closing it. Dude, this is like the, yeah, the Walking Dead, like the zombie Yeah, <laughs> the zombie barrier. And we got free drugs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take the elevator down. You, I love, no, I don't <laughs> You can't pay me to take the elevator down. All right, guys, thank you so much for making it to the very end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this abandoned mall video. I really did enjoy this. It kind of shows what's going on in the world and how COVID is affecting malls everywhere and they're just shutting them down. I've done like three abandoned malls so far in America and the last mall video, which you can watch up here, you guys enjoyed it a lot. So if you want me to check out more abandoned malls, leave a comment down below and I'll do another one. But yeah, like I said, I'm in the UK doing a series. So there's gonna be so many crazy more adventures coming up on this channel and a reminder to go to Scream Fest and come see Josh, Dan, and I and hang out and let's all have fun. But until next time guys, I'll see you on next adventure. Peace. Thanks for watching. Thank you.